Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Cook It once again. Now, I hope you checked out our last video where we showed you how to make the perfect poached egg. And now, to go with that perfect poached egg, we're going to show you how to make a delicious hollandaise sauce so you can make the best eggs benedict to serve up to your family. So, with that being said, why don't we pan down and get you started. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to need a any style of double boiler that you can get. Basically, you want the bowl to be above the water level and have your water on high, then turn it down to low because you don't want your water boiling too rapidly. What you're going to need is four egg yolks, one stick of room temperature butter, two teaspoons of lemon juice, one eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. You're also going to need ham. Any style of ham will do. It's up to you. Choose your favorite type of ham. And then you're going to need just a half a teaspoon of chicken base. You don't have to have this, but that is my secret to adding a little extra flavor to your hollandaise sauce. An English muffin. Now, it all depends on how many guests you'll be serving. It's basically one egg, half an English muffin, and one slice of ham that you'll need per serving. Now, we're going to do something a little different than what you've seen on most videos. When it comes to hollandaise sauce, most people will melt down the butter and add the butter to the egg yolk slowly. But that's not what we're going to do today. This is going to be a little different. So you're going to take your egg yolks, and you're going to put it in your bowl. And then you're going to want to take your whisk and give it a good stir. Now, while that's stirring, add your one stick of butter and just continue to stir. And you have to keep stirring this because you don't want it to break up on you. Now, while I'm stirring this, I have a third cup of boiling water and I'm going to take a half a teaspoon of chicken base, just a half a teaspoon of chicken base in one third cup of hot water. And what I'm going to do, because I don't want my hollandaise to break up on me, I'm just going to add very little at a time and continue to stir. This will thicken as time goes by. So just continue to pour very little at a time and give your sauce a chance to thicken. This is gonna give you a silky, smooth hollandaise sauce and you won't have to worry about it breaking up on you. And remember, I have the water underneath on very low heat because I don't want it too, too hot because that will cook the egg before it even has a chance to thicken. And that's not what we want. Now you're going to want to add your lemon juice and your salt and cayenne pepper. There you go. Look at that. It's looking very nice so far. And it may take some time, but it will thicken. It might take you a good five minutes of whisking, but I promise you this will thicken. Just got to be a little patient with it. That's very nicely thickened and just to show you you can if it coats the spoon then you know it's the right thickness you can always thicken it a little more it's up to you so at this point you're going to want to remove your hollandaise sauce from the heat very carefully now we're on to the poached eggs now, but if you want a full tutorial on poached eggs please Check out our video from the last time and I guarantee you, you'll be very pleased with your poached egg. Now our sauce, it's looking delicious. It's a perfect thickness. It didn't crack and we're ready to go. And I'm going to heat my ham up just a little bit in the microwave. You can fry your ham. It depends on what type of ham you're using too. For the English muffin, you can throw it in the toaster. 
Okay, as you can see, our hollandaise sauce is very nice and thick and it's not breaking up at all. Now, if you're making a lot of poached eggs, you'll want to have a holding pot, which means an extra pot of water to put your poached eggs in. And you can put your poached eggs in that holding water at 160 degrees. That way it won't continue to cook while it's sitting in the water. Another tip for you is if you take your English muffins and you open face them, and this is what I mean by open face, and leave them on a cookie sheet, broil them between three to four minutes, take them out and you'll have all of them ready at one time rather than using the toaster because that can take a long time if you're serving an overwhelming amount of guests. But today, we're just showing you how to make one individual Eggs Benedict so you can enjoy one yourself for breakfast. And now we're going to show you how to assemble it. We have our English muffin. Okay, so I have my measuring cup for my hollandaise sauce. Look how beautiful that hollandaise sauce is. Nice, thick, and it didn't break apart, and it tastes delicious. Toasted our English muffin. And now we're just going to lay our ham on the bottom, and I heated my ham in the microwave, but as I said, you can put it and you can fry it, heat it any way you'd like. I like two slices because I'm a little greedy. And then I'm going to take my egg, which I have in the holding pot at 150 degrees Celsius. And that's just so I can keep them all nice and warm. And for about, I wouldn't leave them in there for any longer than 10 to 15 minutes. And then take your egg and just dry the water off slightly, just like so, so your egg's not gonna slide off the ham. Then put your egg on top. And this is the best part. Are you ready? Let's move everything out of the way because we want to showcase this baby. All right, and here's our hollandaise sauce. Just like so. Now it's up to you how much hollandaise sauce you like because you're making it for yourself. And then if you want to just decorate it a little bit, you can put some salt and pepper, or I'm going to add a little bit of dry chives. You can use fresh chives, anything you'd like. Look at that. Beautiful. And there you have it. Eggs Benedict with a lovely hollandaise sauce. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to dig in. Time for the taste test. Now you want to make sure your egg is runny all the way through. That is one of the secrets to a great now look at that. That's what you want. Mm -mm. Now that is delicious. Thank you everybody for joining me here at Cook It. I hope you enjoy your eggs, Benedict. I know I will. I have to say, the chicken base gives that, that little bit of extra saltiness that you need. The lemon juice just brings a freshness to the hollandaise sauce. And the cayenne pepper adds that little extra kick that you're looking for. Well, thank you everybody so much for joining me here at Cook It. I had a fantastic time making my very first Eggs Benedict and it turned out great. Join us again next time and we'll show you how to make the perfect scrambled egg. Thank you for joining me here at Cook It. And everybody, please remember, be safe, be happy, and healthy. Take care, everyone.